today's practice is just a short, sweet, get into those hips, stretch things out, kind of open things up. So we'll go ahead and start, since this is a short one, we'll just start at the top of our mat, do a few quick sun salutations just to warm things up a little bit, and then we'll do a few stretches into our hips, and we'll be done. So feet are about hip distance apart, toes nice and spread, feel the quads engaged and lifting up while the fingers reach down in your Tadasana or mountain pose. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe the legs are a little bent here. You can grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. Release the arms, bend the knees, roll up the spine. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Maybe the knees are bent. This time, bring the hands onto the shins. Nice flat back here, reaching forward. Hands connect, step the feet back, lower to the knees, baby chaturanga, elbows in. Lift up for cobra, back to downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal the feet here. Continuing to open up the backs of the legs. And then look forward, walk the feet up, come to your flat back, and exhale, fold. Bend the knees, roll up the spine. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands connect, step back into your plank pose. Go ahead, lower to the knees, baby chaturanga. Lift up for cobra, back to downward facing dog. Maybe shake the head, yes and no, pedal the feet. And then look forward, walk the feet up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, roll up the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time, just step the left foot back. Walk your right foot over to the side of your mat. Lower the left knee, coming into lizard pose. So you're hugging this right knee in, sending the right hip back. This is a little bit of a hip flexor in the left leg, but there's a little bit of stretching going on here in the right leg as well. Maybe you stay with the arms extended. If you have a block at home, you can grab that, come down onto the elbows. Ideally, if you're coming all the way to the mat, make sure both elbows can be down. Otherwise, use a block or maybe a couple books. And then go ahead and roll to the outside edge of your right foot, getting a little bit into the outer glute. And bring it back to center, tuck the back toe, send the right leg back, downward dog. Look forward, walk the feet up, flat back. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, roll back up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands connect. This time, right foot steps back. Walk your left foot to the side so that it's outside of your left hand. Lower the right knee. Lizard pose. Again, maybe you stay with the arms straight. Maybe you have a couple books or a block and you can lower to the elbows. Maybe you can lower all the way to the mat. Just make sure both elbows can come flat on the mat. Hug the left knee in, send the left hip back. Go ahead and roll to the outside edge of that left foot. Easy breaths here into your hips, helping them to relax. And bring the knee back in, tuck the back toe, send the left leg back, downward facing dog. A little more into the hips, lift the right leg, bend the knee, bring the foot close towards your seat. Lower that right shoulder so it's even with the left. Take some circles, bringing the knee into your chest. And then go the other direction. And then lower the right leg down. Inhale, 
belly lift, the left leg, bend the knee, take the same position, open that hip, left shoulder in line with the right, and take some circles. And then go the other direction. Lower the left leg down. Take a few breaths here in downward dog. On your next inhale, right leg lifts. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Lowering the leg down, untuck the left leg. Walk it a little bit behind you. So you're coming into a pigeon pose. The more parallel your right shin is to the front of the mat, the more you will feel this stretch. So just pay attention to your body. If you notice that the right hip is lifting way up or you're leaning to the left, place a block or a pillow underneath that your right hip or maybe a blanket. If you're ready, lower down onto the elbows. And if that feels really good, go ahead and lower all the way down. So find the pose for you. You want to try and keep the hips nice and even. You don't want to roll to one side or the other. Like I said, if you need to put a little prop underneath your right hip, that's totally okay. Now, if you are in this pose and you're like, I hate this pose, it's so uncomfortable, then go ahead and lift back up, bring the left leg forward, and you'll simply come down onto your back, make a figure four, and pull the leg towards you. So that gets you the exact same stretch, but it can be just a little more accessible for those who might have tight hips. So either you're in the sleeping pigeon, like I am right now, on your stomach, or you're in the reclined pigeon on your back. So choose the one that's right for you. It gets you the stretch that you like. Get into your right hip. And for those who might be in the sleeping pigeon and you want a little bit more, take your left arm, thread it under your right, come down onto the left shoulder, and bring the right hand behind you. That is a great variation if you need a little deeper stretch in your right hip. Take a few breaths here, continuing to relax into the glutes. If you are on your back, just go ahead and lower your feet down, uncross the legs, and let the knees move side to side. If you're on your stomach, start to lift up. Tuck the back toes, send the right leg back, maybe a three-legged dog, shake it out. Pedal the feet. Inhale the left leg, bring the left knee to the left wrist. Untuck the right toes, walk that right leg back just a little bit. And if you're on your back, you can just simply cross the other ankle over the other knee and start to pull that leg towards you. If you're on your stomach like I am, take a minute to find your pose, maybe placing a prop underneath your left hip if you need it. And then slowly start to lower, maybe to the elbows, maybe all the way. Listening to your body, do the one that is right for you. This side might feel different than the other one, so just be patient with that. Take a few gentle breaths here. And if you're on your back, you can slowly lower the feet, uncross the legs, and just let the knees move side to side. If you're on your stomach, make your way up. Tuck your back toes, send the left leg back, three-legged dog, shake it out. Maybe pedal the feet. And then everyone, make your way onto your seat. If you're on your back, just roll up. And then bring the soles of your feet together. You can play around with how close or how far your feet are from you. I find that if the feet are a little farther away, I feel it more in my outer thighs. And if I bring the feet in, then I feel it more in the inner thighs, inner, um, you know, the inner hip flexor, inner groin. So whichever one feels good to you, 
Go ahead and hold maybe the ankles, letting the elbows press the knees down. Or maybe you hold the feet, opening them up like a book. Maybe you stay fairly upright, or maybe you start to fold over the legs. And play around with where the feet are. Maybe you're not feeling anything where they are, so find a new position. And the elbows can help press the legs down. Slowly make your way up, bring the legs together, extend them out, go ahead and shake out the legs. Take one forward fold, inhale up, hinge from the hips, reach towards the toes, maybe you reach them, maybe not, don't worry about it. Keep the back nice and flat here and notice how that sensation feels on the backs of the legs. And then go ahead and let the upper back round. See how that sensation might feel different. And then roll yourself up and go ahead and roll all the way down onto your back, ending with happy baby. Pull the knees towards your armpits. Maybe you hold the thighs here. Maybe you reach for the feet, rocking side to side. And then pull the knees in, hug it nice and close, take a few rocks back and forth, come up to your seat. Know that there are lots of different poses to help open in the hips. This is just a little tiny taste, but hopefully your hips feel a little more open, a little more relaxed, a little more stretched. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Namaste.